You are joint venturing with AT. Show me a company. Jamaica and I tell you who you are. The sin of the blood sacrifice. Jamaica, show me a company and I tell you who you are. Your joint venture with AT. To turn Satan, sell soul and sell soul link up. Who are the sacrifices? The people. The people. They are the ones that put on the platter for the sacrifice. Jamaica, God tired for one you. Mm -hmm. Show me a company and I will tell you who you are. Criminal and criminal work. Killer and killer work. Occultist and occultist work. So once one link head with the other, they are underneath the same order. So Haiti and Jamaica are under the same order. Hey! A roll call with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> soul blood sacrifice is when you sold your soul to the devil without thinking about the consequences it comes with most people in life focus how to get rich, how to be wealthy, how to live a lavish lifestyle, but they don't think about the consequences that comes with blood sacrifice, blood drinking vampires. They only think about the wealth that comes with it. Remember your family is your bloodline. Your family is your bloodline. You can't kill them out. The only way you kill out your family, unless you are very dumb and stupid. So a lot of you sell your soul to Satan, to the occultists. When you sell your soul to the occultists, he tells you, the bigger sacrifice you do is the more money you can get. So therefore, a lot of people do human sacrifice because when they are doing the human sacrifice, they make more money. So Jamaica... You were put up for sacrifice as well. Jamaicans. 
you were put up also for sacrifice. So they have to get X amount of lives per day. Just like in 80, forming gangs, killing people, making sure the blood runs for the demons, the demonic force to drink blood and feed on it, killing our people, and you are not killing yours. Come with a repercussion. So you have a lot of people. They are not killing their family. They are killing people's children. They are not killing their family. A lot of people sell their soul. For wealth. They are not killing their family. They are killing other people's children, other people, grown-up teenager, other people they are killing, putting up for sacrifice, but there is a repercussion. It's gonna backfire. It's gonna backfire on you sooner than you think. A lot of you run and hide because... You are guilty. Don't be guilty. When you do it, you do it. A lot of people don't want to hear about the blood sacrifice. It have to be talked about because it is happening right in front of my eyes here in Jamaica. A lot of us just want to be rich. Getting the wealth. The fame, the riches, the fortune to live a lavish lifestyle showing off your riches, bossy, showing off on other people how rich you are and you are still a nobody because you have to be killing people to get to such level. Let me speak with all of the soul sellers. All the soul sellers. Every two years. Going in three years. The occultist requesting another sacrifice. So when you sell your soul. When you join and sell your soul. And they request sacrifice every two years, entering into three years. They need another sacrifice. This is a catch. This is a trick. They, that is why they call it the secret society. The secret society for your wealth. They don't want to tell you how the wealth will come about. They don't explain and tell you the more richer you get 
is the more sacrifice you will have to do. A lot of you kill your mothers and your grandmothers. And within two years to three years, you kill your father. Within another three years, you kill your sister. Within another three years, you kill your brother and you just have kill it. You have some family every three years or every two years, somebody dead. Just take a look at some families. Every two to three years, somebody die for them. Sometimes all double death. There always be some people who want to get rich off of poor people's head. Glory, hallelujah. Number six. We are at number six. The more sacrifice is the more money. The more money is the more sacrifice you have to give. Number seven. When you are at your highest level of your life, the ice level of your business, the ice level of your career, the ice level in your life, lots and lots of money spending. You have money, you don't know what to do with money. You yourself end up feeling sick. Because how they work, how the occultists work, they will request someone that you love. And everybody loves their mother and their children. So they request someone that you love. So you kill your mother. You kill your father. You kill your wife or you kill your husband. So basically, do you have children? They're going to ask you, do you have children? We need one of them. So a lot of these missing kids. If you check it out down the line, maybe their own mother and father put them up for sacrifice. But they have to make it look as if it's a missing boy or a girl. But maybe when you check down the line, their own mother and father put them up for sacrifice. I heard about a church that they just raided the other day. Remember, I was warning about another occult church in Jamaica. Nobody pay me any kind of mind. We're going to get to that area. Let me finish the word. I remember I was warning about another occult church in Jamaica. Nobody pay me no mind. Now them raid. And they were doing the sex rituals there. I soon get to that area. Mm. So you sacrifice your mother. You sacrifice your father. You sacrifice your grandmother. They say we need somebody that you really love. Then they go for your children. You sacrifice your kids. Some of the sacrifices, they brutally kill them. And some of the sacrifices, they let them sick. So some sacrifices come with sickness. Some of the sacrifices come with sickness. The child does sick, 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 sick. Sometimes the child born deformed. 
When you see the child born deformed and just sick, 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 you have to check the bloodline of the man or the woman. Because a lot of times some man get some woman pregnant, they don't really want the child, they only want the child to put up for sacrifice. So most of the time, when the man get the woman pregnant, he always want to sacrifice the child from it in the womb. So when you kill all your bloodline, all your family, you left alone. And they constantly feed you with the wealth, with the monies. Constantly feeding you with the money. So you have whole heap of businesses all over the place. Lots of nice cars and lots of nice women and lots of nice men. And when after three years you go back, they look at you and say, Sir or Madam, we need more sacrifice. Within that time, you get miserable and say, But I gave you all my family. They will have a tendency to look at you and say, We don't want strangers, we want family. And when you look at the accountants and say, I have no more family. You know what the account is going to look at you and say, well, if you have no more family, I'm sorry we have to take you. Most of these accountants, they call them grandmaster. They have very nice names for them, grandmaster. They said, well, I'm sorry. All your family has gone. We don't want a stranger. I'm sorry. We have to take bloodline. You want to be rich? We gave it to you. You want to be famous? We gave it to you. You want lots of business? We gave it to you. We need bloodline. You know what they do next? They put a demon on you to be sick. Because they know how to do it. It's not all the time they use someone to shoot you or to kill you brutally. Sometimes they will put you to be sick. They put you to be sick and sick very bad. So you will be there sick. Doctor cannot find the complaint. And all you said, I am feeling ill. The doctor cannot find the complaint. Out of the blues, you just feel sick, drop down and dead. Leave all your wealth behind. No children to inherit your wealth. No relatives. So when you drop down and dead, the state take your wealth. Look into yourselves and tell me if that's not dumbness. Dumbness. So you get the money fast. You get the wealth fast. You get everything on speed rapid. You live in a lavish lifestyle only for a short while. So if you have 10 family or 5 family to be sacrificed, you count 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Within a 15 year period, if all your family die, you will be next. If you only have 3 family, within 9 years, you next. What the sense of it? What is the sense of it? The people of Jamaica 
was placed on a platter for sacrifice. So this sacrifice is happening now. Let me repeat myself again. Thus saith the Lord thy God. If you are just joining the line for the first time, you are on a prophetic line. Everything works telepathic, God and man. God speak, man talk and tell you the revelation. So I hope when you join the line, you have a full understanding where you are, what you're listening to. You are on a prophetic line. Prophetic line, we speak which is to come. It is not foolishness. Which is to come. Some of the prophecies are happening now. It's been a long time I've been warning all. Of it go through one air and go back through the next and you say we speak in foolishness. But now the foolishness overtaking you. Jamaica, the people of Jamaica was placed on the platter for sacrifice. So these sacrifices happening now. It is very difficult To undo what was placed. The occultist that is supposed to do the jobs. And when I say occultist, it's more than one. They're here. The professional occultists are here with their workers. <laughs> I wonder if I should expose to them. Hallelujah! The occultists, the occultists. And their workers are here to perform their duties. They were employed to keep the sacrifice going. To keep the rituals going. How these occultists operate. They open churches. The occultists that they have employed with their workers. They open churches here in Jamaica. Put on 
on the nicest clothing on Sunday mornings, working occult, mi uh, occultist miracles on people's life. But when they touch you in your head and in your forehead and blow in your face, they literally blowing demons on the Jamaican people. So a lot of them are here running churches and churches are doing fine. Jamaicans love church. Our Jamaican people love their God and love church. So what they do now, they open churches to catch you. Getting you in the web of a church. So on Sunday mornings, they put on their pastor gown. Preaching. Delivering I don't know what. And on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, their occult work going on right through the week their boys are working for the kidnapping of the children and the females and doing their sacrifices they have their, their kind of men who dressed up to get certain class and quality people to take into their shrine into their churches and pretend as if they're having church when they're all occultish, playing God role, playing with God's work, and killing and doing rituals. It's a big shame. Shame, shame, shame. We have black leaders. We have black heads of government in our land of Jamaica and across the Caribbean. Black leaders. Listen now, it's not white people. We have black leaders in the Caribbean. Haiti and all of them. Black leaders who have sold the soul of the people for power and for wealth. Black. Black leaders. They are vampiring and sucking the blood of the people. Oh gosh. We cannot hear. So we are going to feel. Thus saith the Messiah. We cannot hear. So we will feel the hands of the wicked. Because I am a hundred percent sure. The Almighty God has sent the warnings from 2019, 2018, 2020, 21, 22, 23, and the warning still going on. I am sure you have gotten the warnings. Every prophecy has knocked. 
every prophecy has fulfilled. But because a lot of them are so ashamed, they cannot admit the fact that everything that woman say, I am seeing it in my eyes. They are so ashamed. Thank <music> you.